everyone, video for bt here. Today I want to show you how you can export your finished project in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. So you have your finished project on your timeline, you made all your cuts, you put all your titles in, and the sound sounds good, and the picture looks great. So let's just watch this real quick, make sure everything looks good. One last time. Great, all right, so it looks good, I'm done. Let's get it out of here. So to do that, the first thing you're gonna do is place your in and out points. Now to do that, you're just gonna use I on the keyboard to set your in. So go to the beginning of when your video starts and hit I. And as you can see, this turns gray up here. That means it has set your in point. I go to the end, all the way to the end. And I've noticed Adobe Premiere Pro CC does some weird things. So if you hit O, it'll set your out point. And it looks like it adds an extra frame. So what I like to do is go one frame before the last frame and hit O. And that way it's lined up perfectly with our timeline. So our in and out points are set, as you can see. So now we're good to export. Now to do that, you can go up to File, Export, and media. And the shortcut for that is Command M. So let's get used to using shortcuts. It makes things a lot easier. So let's go ahead and hit Command M. There you go. So as you can see, the export settings window pops up and you're kind of bombarded with an array of settings. Now you can go through and explore which settings work best for you, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the export settings that I use typically and I'll show you some good alternatives for uploading to Vimeo and YouTube as well. So normally when I edit in a project, I'll edit on a ProRes 422 timeline and I usually just hit match sequence settings and that'll make it so that I'm gonna export at the same as whatever my sequence was set to, which is ProRes 422LT. So it's actually good to go. You maximize render quality, you use previews that you rendered out and then you set your destination by clicking right here. So it's gonna be called whatever your sequence is. So I'm all set. You hit save, and now you're good. All you gotta do is hit export. So when it comes to exporting a master, that's what I usually do. You know, you get a high quality video file like ProRes, and it usually runs about, you know, 500 megabytes to a gigabyte, depending on how long the video is. Um, now, when I'm uploading to YouTube, you kind of have to go with a more compressed file. So to do that, there are some great presets in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's go ahead and go to the H.264 format. If you click right here on the arrow, H.264. And that'll bring up these settings right here. Now, I've created a preset that I use for all my videos. So. This, these are the settings, and I'll, I'll pause for a second so you can maybe take a screenshot of these. These are the settings that I usually use to upload to Vimeo or YouTube, and you can adjust the compression rate right here. So you can increase the file size and get a little bit better quality, or you can compress it even more by dragging it to the left. So once you find your sweet spot, I'm gonna leave it at 15. Then you go ahead down here and use maximum render quality always, and use previews and make sure you set your destination to wherever you want to save it. Hit save, and then export, and there it goes. So depending on how long your video is, it really can determine how long your render is gonna be. So if you have a bunch of titles and a bunch of effects, especially if you use Red Giant plugins, usually tends to increase the render time. So that's how you export using Adobe Premiere Pro CC. And down the road, I'll make another tutorial on how to export using Adobe Media Encoder, which allows you to queue multiple sequences at one time, so you don't have to go through and export them one by one. So stay tuned for more Video 4 tutorials, and have a good one.